Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, the entire world is celebrating uh, Father's Day. And I think this is very important for us to understand um, how do we, as Muslims, and how does Islam teach us to celebrate the Father's Day? Um, it's great today, the whole world is um, uh, celebrating Father's Day. Um, you know, children are bringing gifts for their fathers and likewise when Mother's Day is celebrated, people do the same as well. Children get gifts or they get cards and there's an amazing environment. However, with Islam, Islam I think it has a, uh, a, a different way of celebrating Father's Day or Mother's Day and that is every day we celebrate Father's Day and Mother's Day. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs everyone وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ um, Be kind to your parents. And this is the uh, the, the core um, of how we as Muslims, we celebrate uh, Father's Day is by simply being kind to them. And every time that we are kind to them, every time we are respectful to them, um, every time when, you know, we feel that there's... Uh, some sort of negativity towards parents and we refrain or at least we try our best not to be disrespectful uh, to them. Uh, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not even say uff. And uff um, with the present day is uh, maybe when we tut uh, or when we raise our hands and uh, we say what or you know anything that is disrespectful, raising our voice this is something that is uh, highly discouraged in Islam. Um, once a Sahabi by the name of Abdullah, he narrates this hadith. Somebody asked the Prophet um, uh, which is that action which is the best in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet والسلام, said, ala uh, praying your salah uh, on time. Uh, and this is a, a, a crucial lesson for all Muslims. Uh, and then uh, the Sahabi or the companion, he said, um, ayyu, uh, which action is better after that? And the Prophet والسلام, said, uh, being kind uh, to your parents. Um, so, you know, being kind, being respectful, to our parents is uh, highly emphasized and by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the Prophet alayhi salatu wa So it's absolutely essential that we are, you know, very good to our parents. And I think by being respectful, by being positive or having a positive attitude towards our parents, um, this creates a very beautiful environment because uh, naturally parents are then they're inclined towards uh, the uh, their children anyway, but when you know you have a child who is extremely respectful and is obedient and is sincere, um, then parents have this uh, extra uh, kindness and affection towards them. And through this, when they make du'a, this does the wonders. However, once uh, a wife of a companion uh, of the Prophet ﷺ by the name of Alqama. Sayyidina Al-Qamah radiallahu ta'ala who came to the Prophet and she said that my husband is in um, so much uh, pain and we can see that it's time for him to depart from this world. In other words, it's, you know, death has come to him. But his soul, for some strange reason, is not departing um, his body uh, or is not, the soul is not leaving the body. Um, and the Prophet Islam then asked his wife, and he said, does he have a mother or a father? And she said, yes, she has a mother. She's very old. Um, she's very fragile. And the Prophet ﷺ instructed her to come or ordered the companions to bring her. And uh, she was brought in front of the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ asked, what was your relationship like with your son? And she said, well, he, he's amazing. He's, uh, he's very pious. He uh, had a lot of love for Islam. And he had a lot of respect for me. However, 
at times when he was with other people or when he was with his wife, he would uh, he wouldn't give me that um, respect and he wouldn't give me that attention that I deserved or I felt that I deserved. And this hurt me and it broke my heart. And the Prophet then instructed um, and, and told his companions and said, it is because of this reason uh, that Alkama's soul is not departing his body and he's in so much pain. And then he turned towards the mother and he said, well, the only thing we can do is now gather some wood and burn it and throw Alkama in there. Um, and this is a Sahabi, this is a companion of the Prophet It's just so shocking that, um, you know, we as normal people, I mean, our status is nowhere close to the status of the companions. And their rank and their level is far greater than ours. And can you imagine if we, as the Muslims and as Mu'mineen, if we are disrespectful to our parents, um, this could really bring the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we are on the other side where we've been completely, uh, you know, the, our attitude is positive and we're kind, can you imagine the rahmah and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that one can receive? So inshallah, I hope and pray uh, that on this Father's Day today, you know, we really create a positive uh, atmosphere in our homes by creating a positive relationship with our parents, by being simply being kind, um, being generous. Um, you know, if our parents have asked us to do something, we just, without even saying off or without even touching, we just, you know, uh, make sure it's done. You know, when our mothers are in the kitchen, just, you know, whenever we can, you know, help them in the kitchen, help them clean up and just generally be nice and do not raise our voice. This is very important to remember that we do not, under any circumstances, raise our voice uh, to our parents. Oma Alina, ila al-balaq wa al-mubin.